Terrifying Animal Ancestors Hey everyone, it's Alexa again. Welcome back to another video. We can be very grateful that we weren't around when some of these terrifying animal ancestors roamed our Earth. From gigantic bears to overly large water dwellers, larger than life bird life to creepy crawlies that were just plain creepy, let's meet some of these animals today, thankfully not face to face. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Short-Faced Bear The largest species of bear today is a polar bear and a Kodiak bear, and they both weigh in the region of 1,500 pounds. Pretty big for sure, but that's nothing compared to the short-faced bear that used to inhabit North America around 11,000 years ago. When standing on its hind legs, it could reach up to 12 feet and weigh around 3,000 pounds. Tyrannosaurus Rex Feel free to fact check this one, you'll want to. The chicken is a harmless animal that provides us with eggs and meat, yet there's a dark family secret lurking in the chicken's closet. Turns out, chickens and T. rexes share a surprising amount of DNA. Many believe that birds are direct descendants of dinosaurs and that chickens are the closest living relative to a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Megatherium Sloths are a firm favorite in our household, and we love their gentle, slow nature, and it was with sheer horror that we discovered that their ancestor was a four-ton, 20-foot giant that resided in the Amazon. It mainly stayed on the ground and would move at the pace of well, a sloth. Its footprints proved that it was bipedal so it could reach the leaves from tall trees. It was probably the size of an elephant and would eat the carcasses left behind by other animals. These ancient sloth-like creatures were the last giant Ice Age mammal to disappear. Host's Eagle The largest species of eagle around today is the Stellar's Sea Eagle, with an average weight of 15 pounds. The Host's Eagle was a little larger, weighing in at 35 pounds, and became extinct 600 years ago. This eagle lived in the South Island of New Zealand, and many believe it to be the Pauakai of Maori legends. Host's eagles would prey on large flightless birds far bigger than itself, and would soar in at speeds of up to 50 miles an hour. Gigantopithecus Giant apes and King Kong go hand in hand, and this fictional beast was not a story 9 million to 100,000 years ago. Colossal apes were alive when several hominid species were alive, but we doubt the apes were living on Skull Island. These apes stood 10 feet tall and weighed in the region of 1,200 pounds. It's unclear how this terrifying ape became extinct. Some blame climate change, while others believe it was competition with Homo erectus for natural resources like bamboo, which was scarce at the time they coexisted. Mega Tapiris We know tapirs today are large, herbivorous animals that are found in the jungles and forests of South America, Central America, and Southeast Asia. There are five different species of tapir, and they range in size, anything from 330 to 700 pounds. Their ancestors were a lot more solid than our tapirs of today. Mega tapiris were roaming the earth 4,000 years ago and weighed 1,100 pounds. They were found in China and Vietnam. Deinosuchus See you later, alligator, would have had a very different meaning during the Cretaceous period. Chances of being seen again would have been, you know, slim to none. Modern day crocodiles are scary as is, and looking at their extinct ancestors is even scarier. Deinosuchus, translated, means terrible crocodile, and he was larger, fatter, and far more dangerous. These crocs reached lengths of 39 feet and weighed up to 10 tons. They used to eat larger dinosaurs, like the Albertosaurus. In a while, crocodile would have had a very different meaning during the Cretaceous period. Diprotodon Wombats These short-legged, terrifying creatures from southeastern Australia are quite possibly descendants of the equally terrifying Diprotodon. Alright, they're not terrifying at all now, but we've got your attention. These peculiar-looking creatures were like giant wombats, and it's hard to believe the small, furry little wombat came from this 6,100-pound beast that was 10 feet in length. Titanoboa Snakes strike fear into the hearts of most people, and most people would be relieved that Titanoboas lived 60 to 58 million years ago. Today, we only have to deal with a giant anaconda, the largest snake that we have, which can grow to 30 feet long and weigh 550 pounds. Remains of a Titanoboa were found in Colombia, and this ancient snake reached 40 to 50 feet in length and weighed two and a half tons. It's the largest snake that ever slithered on Earth. 
Megalodon. This was the largest shark to swim in our oceans, and it's still a mystery as to how this formidable creature became extinct. Don't get us wrong, we're totally better off without having this beast in the water because a swim in the ocean would never be the same again if we knew a Megalodon could be lurking nearby. Megalodon means big tooth, and they lived between 28 and one and a half million years ago. They grew to 60 feet long and were found in waters across the globe. At around the time these guys disappeared, we started seeing the great white shark in the water. Could these great whites have had something to do with their decline and eventual extinction? If so, summer is canceled. Mega Nura. If you're still keen on summer, then staying home by the pool is probably the safer option. It's always nice to see dragonflies hovering over the water, and you also know that you're safe as dragonflies will never attack you. Go back to the Carboniferous period and we can't say the same. Mega Nura had wingspans of 26 inches and was one of the largest flying insects on Earth. Its diet consisted of other insects and small frogs and newts. It's believed it went extinct due to atmospheric changes. Carbonemis. What they lack in speed, they make up for in size. This is the Carbonemis, the largest turtle that ever existed. They lived around 60 million years ago and were common in South America. Their size began changing around 5 million years after the dinosaurs went extinct, give or take a few hundred thousand years, and then they grew smaller. We didn't even know about this species until a gigantic shell measuring 5 feet was found in Colombia. It's the only specimen ever found. It's believed the jaws of this prehistoric animal were powerful enough to chomp through a crocodile. Glyptodon. The word glyptodon is a Greek word that means grooved or carved tooth. Have you ever seen the cute, tiny, pink fairy armadillo? The little guy weighs a mere 4.2 ounces and is around 10 centimeters in size. This terrifying animal is its ancestor. The giant armadillo was around during the Pleistocene epoch and was the size of a VW beetle. Fortunately, it was an herbivore and would forage near the ground. Humans are said to be the reason this gentle giant became extinct as their shells were often used as shelters. They're believed to have coexisted with humans for 4,000 years. Forest Racid. Ask anyone who's been chased by an ostrich before and they will tell you that it is one of the most terrifying experiences anyone can go through. Ostriches reach speeds of 45 miles an hour and a single kick can be fatal. The Forest Racid was called the terror bird and it was like an ostrich in prehistoric times. They too could reach incredible speeds, were huge, and could rip any prey apart within seconds. They were still scaring the life out of other creatures on Earth around 1.8 million years ago. Their relatives that are still around today are the Seriamus, and they're harmless and not nearly as terrifying. Woolly Rhinoceros Rhinos are generally placid animals, but you'd not want to frighten one because they can become very dangerous. The woolly rhinoceros was much the same and grew 13 feet and could weigh up to 7 thousand pounds. Their horns were used for defensive purposes and to attract mates. Although the woolly rhino never really had to worry about being poached for medicinal purposes like our rhinos of today, human hunting is one of the reasons they went extinct along with climate change. Castoroides. These giant beavers were still doing what beavers do about 11,000 years ago. Castoroides could reach lengths of six feet and were found in North America. Believed to be the largest ever rodent to exist, Castoroides had a smaller brain-to-body ratio than our modern day beaver, which is probably why they didn't build beaver dams quite like they do today. They were herbivores that lived near water and fossils were found for the first time in 1837 in a bog near Ohio. Paraceratherium. Found in Eurasia 34 to 23 million years ago, the Paraceratherium has more in common with today's rhino than the woolly rhino we mentioned earlier. They were around during the Oligocene epoch and were the largest terrestrial mammal that has ever existed. These herbivores feasted on the leaves of trees, which they could easily reach with their long necks. Their exact measurements are unclear because a full skeleton has never been found, but they're estimated to have been 30 feet in length and weigh up to 20 tons. They survived for almost 11 million years and climate change and low birth rates are said to be the cause of their extinction. Pulmano Scorpius. If you found one of these in your shoe when they were around 345 million years ago, you would have been a giant. This prehistoric relative of the scorpion measured 30 inches long. Its diet consisted of tetrapods and small arthropods. Prionosuchus. The largest amphibian in the world is the Chinese giant salamander. They can grow up to six feet long, but it's rare to find them that size of late. The Prionosuchus is said to be the ancestor of the salamander, and they lived in the Middle Permian period, which was 270 million years ago. They were found in Brazilian waters and could reach lengths of 30 feet. 
Metoposaurus algarvensis. What is even more closely linked to our modern-day salamander is the Metoposaurus algarvensis. This bizarre-looking creature was around 200 million years ago and weighed as much as an adult. They were common around the coastline of today's Portugal, and they formed part of a group called Temnospondyls, which the Prionosuchus also fell under. American Lion its scientific name is Panthera atrox, and they were around during the Pleistocene epoch, roughly 180,000 years ago to 10,000 years ago. The best samples of the American lion have been found in the Miracle Mile district of Los Angeles. Today's lions are big, with males weighing up to 550 pounds, but these lions were 25% larger. The American lion was up to 8 feet long and weighed 770 pounds. Some reports suggest starvation was the cause of their extinction, while others cite climate change. If you had to choose to coexist with one of these terrifying animal ancestors, which would you choose and why? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. 1. Neurologus Rabbits are meant to be these adorable creatures that are soft, fluffy, and cuddly, but their ancestors were anything but. This is like the T-Rex of rabbits and is a giant, ancient rabbit that weighed as much as 50 pounds. The bunny ancestor had beady eyes, small ears, and a skull, and enormous hind legs and body. This is not the kind of creature your kid is going to be begging you to buy at the pet shop.